I find that the stem injection with a chisel and a mallet is more effective for a kill than frilling with a saw because you get further in, particularly with larger trees. So you need to go down an angle, lever it down so you get, get an area where you can fill the poison with and you fill it right up and then when it starts leaking you, you stop. And it is important to, um, as soon as you make the cut, to poison rather than go around cutting first and then poisoning because the cells start to close up. Particularly at the bottom, so you've sort of got a multi stemmed tree or mallee like tree. It's really important to try and get in between two because the same sort of deal. If you haven't got the poison going up through here, you'll start to get shoots coming out. You can see the wounds a lot deeper than just using your hand saw. And they often will do this with uh, drills too, battery drill. Similar sort of idea. But see, with a with a drill, you can't get right around anyway, so you don't ring mark it. And then if possible just give them another fill, refill, if it's soaking it up. This technique does take up a lot of poison. But you're better off trying to be as thorough as you can because otherwise you'll be coming back and doing it again. So we've got a large pivot here that we can't, can't cut without a lot handsaw. So it with a saw or his um, trusty hatchet. make cuts all the way around the trunk. Maybe retreat the cuts you've already made once the poison's been absorbed.